Hi. I missed you too. It's been a while. Last week was banger after banger after banger. And Lord willing, this one will be too. Eddie Clone, Easy Details, back with another episode. And I'm super stoked about this video. We had made a switch. What, what, Tanner, what'd you say? What, what, what's the company? Take guess, take guess. Do, wait, JBU next. No, no, wrong, 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 wrong. Lithium. We made a switch to lithium auto elixirs. Shout out to Bill. Shout out to McKenna. Shout out to Nick. Shout out to those fellas, women, everyone down in Utah making banger products. And in this video, we're doing something fresh. You're like, what? We're gonna introduce you to a new line. Not even out yet. Let's go. So here's where we're at. We're going to switch to Lithium. Lithium came out with a new line of products. I have it first here in the studio. Shout out to Bill for trusting me to do the reviews. We're gonna review their new products, but let's go over the old stuff first. Not old, that it sucks. This is, this is the staple in this line. I double tap, smells like eucalyptus, tastes like yum yum bubble gum, makes the wifey hot for his poppy. You know what I'm saying? Then we have, we have uh, Ignite Wash. This, I bought a gallon. I said it in my last video, ADS Ignite. OG slick dude slick as a water. This is a polymer based SIO2 drying aid. These two have been in a staple for a long time. We know that. Um, then we have the interior. Then we have what I would call interior uh, chemicals here where you have glow. This stuff is busting. This as a waterless wash glow max is busting. We have inner space. Inner space is an interior cleaner, dresser, or it's an interior detailer dressing, things of that nature. It leaves a nice, beautiful satin finish uh, inside of the car. We have Hyper Cleanse. We have a gallon of the cleanse, okay? Now this is probably one of the best interior cleaners. I'm talking about straight cleaners, right? No scent, uh, that's out. My daughter, Isabel, lives and dies by it. Okay, and then we have some leather care products here that you can also use on Teslas. I've used this on a Tesla C, works very well. This is called Lithium Rehab, High Rehab. Leather Love was, was supposed to be for the Alfa Romeo, but Bev gave up the ghost on that. So I've tried it, it does rejuvenate, it does rehydrate, um, but we're not here to talk about the oil line. You're like, Eddie, I saw it, I saw it all. Sock, I heard you, be quiet. Eddie, I saw it all, I already know. I know you know, but we gotta talk about the history, where they came from, where they're at now. They're launching a new product line called G. G, I'm assuming that's for graphene because I want to show you their coating that came out. This is a graphene coating. I did apply it on the truck. I want to give you my thoughts. It was an amazing ceramic coating to apply. Uh, why don't you use it more, Eddie? Because he doesn't sell it yet. Bill, get on it. Stuff is amazing. Tremendous ceramic coating, easy to use. It doesn't have the black specks in it. You know, that's for visual cues, but it does have graphene in it. The stuff I'm stoked to try today is because my cars were ceramic coated and I want to show you this, okay? We have nasty wheel wells. I'm going to play the clip here. Look how gross those freaking wheel wells are. We're going to put Grime Wave to the test. It is a, a greaser. Um, it's made to do the heavy lifting for the outside. I am pretty stoked about this bill, okay? Because now we have almost a full solution for maintenance washing a car. Like we have now an APC or a degreaser for the heavy stuff. We're gonna try it on the wheel wells here. He came out with a shampoo. Graphene infused. You can see the name there. What's the name say? What's the name say? Slick Suds, baby. Two ounces in the foam canning. We're gonna try that today. It's residue free. It's got unmatched cleaning power. Those words unmatched only mean something to me with donuts and coffee. You know what I'm saying? Unmatched. So I'm super stoked to try his new Slick Suds. Um, it smells, smells awesome. Okay, it doesn't stink, it smells great. And then he has two bangers here. And I say bangers, cause I, 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 can, I can see clearly now, my glove is slick. Listen, Avalanche, it is their slick as shiz. That's what it says right here, dude. Slicker than shiz, bro. You ever had that diarrhea squirts? It's coming out quick, slicker than shiz. This one is a graphene infused, slick, it's the slick, they should say it right here, slickest formula, keeps things clean and thus light. I can't wait to try this. This is their avalanche. Let's put it to the test, let's smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know what the scent is, but it smells freaking awesome. Um, 
What I like about it is he's giving me choices, right, Bill? You're giving me choices. And then he has one called Graphene Shield or Ceramic Shield. This one is a graphene infused ceramic shield mudslide. It is made to be that chemical resistance, extreme, extreme hydrophobics, uh, ideal for paint plastics, creates like a rock hard shell on the outside. So this is probably what you would want to use for long term, six to 12 months it says, we're gonna put it to the test um, and let's see what it smells like. No smell, weird. It smells like SiO2. This one's gonna be BD. I think this one's gonna hit hard. Um, so let's let's put it to work. We're gonna wash this car. I'm super stoked. I'll give you my review as we use it, and we'll go from there. You can see it here. I let it. I sprayed on Grime Wave, and you can see this side of the tire. It looks real gross, right? I'm gonna spray back here. Spray that right there, all over. Let that do a little bit of marinating, okay? I'm gonna hit the, the top part of it. I'm gonna hit the top part of it, and then we're gonna go here and hit that with all of that in the back of that mud, okay? I'm gonna let that work. It says two minutes. This is kicked on, you can see it. It's super kicked on. It's pretty gnarly. On all those corners, I'm gonna grab the tire just so I introduce water. And I just sprayed a little bit of grime here. They want you to spray it off. So I'm just doing this for the sake of the test. Here, and look at that. Compared to that, it is dry. Like I said, I just did a dry, a dry clean here. But look at all the dirt it took off. That's wild, that's freaking crazy. Look at the tire. Look at that, that's wild. No, no agitation, just with this. Go and spray off. Yeah, oh crap. And this was kicked on since we went to the dump. And you can tell it's kicked on. And these, these are fat, these are carpeted. Look at that. Took it all out. Wow. Let's, 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 this is the first, listen. I first bill, first thought, I was like, he's lying, okay, it's just another degreaser. Look, hear me out, hear me out. Pause. That dirt has been on the car, on the truck, on the truck since my last wash. Go look at it. Go find the video of when I washed this. And I'm not talking about the rinses wash because I just cleaned the panel. I'm talking about my last wash. We went to the dump. We have mud all over. It's been there for a long time, caked on. This did God's work. This, this, this. Grind wave. It might. Might be the best APC. I don't know what is it APC? Is it a degree? I don't know what it is. Might be some of the best I've used, uh, if I'm being honest. I did not touch it. I did not touch that mud. I used a 45 degree uh, nozzle. You're like, water will take that off. No, dude, that is carpeted. There's some plastic parts, but the other part's carpeted. This, if you read the directions and you let it sit for two minutes, Grind Wave will go to work for you. Impressive. 10 out of 10. This, at first I thought it was gonna be hot trash, like your sprayers, I think your sprayers are trash, okay? No one's safe, Bill, just cause you're beautiful in jeans, no one's safe. Sprayer, trash, it's okay. How are you gonna have this in the bottle and this? I don't get it. I, personally, I don't get it, but worth the money. <laughs> Ooh, Grime Wave. Yeah, Bill, make a gallon, I'll buy it. Stuff is great. Uh, I didn't agitate it, you can agitate it. I just left it on for two minutes on all my wheel wells, my wheels, my inner wheels, and I did a pre-wash and it just took everything off. It was, I don't know the pH, but it's, the grind wave is, it hits, it's good. Right now we're gonna get our, our cannon ready. We're gonna do two ounces of the good stuff. It says here two ounces inside of a foam cannon. So we can see it here. We can pour the dilutions in front of your face. We're gonna go here. Okay, we got two ounces right there. Um, like I said, the scent is, is like a, a fresh scent. We're gonna take, I already filled the reservoir up with water here. You're like, Hedy, how do you like the phone can? MTM. Simba's back, baby. The Pride Rock. Everyone else is having problems with me. Look, I've been talking to Josh B, Cars with Keeves, the boys in the chat, and the problem they're having is when you turn it here, 
right? I didn't even shave it. When you turn it, it doesn't turn. Mine just turns, you see? Turns no problem. This is the new one. You see the fitting here is busting. Uh, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna swirl that bad boy around and let's get foaming, baby, shall we? Goes in. Side here, you can see how it's clinging on, the soap, how it's clinging and the ceramic coating is rejecting it. But we're gonna test the hydrophobics. We're gonna test the cleaning power when we spray it off because the panel here is real dirty, right here. But let's go through the spray off and let's see how it cleans. Now look, I haven't touched it with a rag yet. I just wanna see the cleaning power of the soap. Super dirty. And then let's clean this part to see what kind of dirt we have. And all the hydrophobics came back. It does leave some protection. Alright, so it's easy to spray off. It does clean. We're gonna go on the other side and test it on the dirtiest part of the car. Into the dirtiest side of the car, okay? I let this soap stay down as a pre-clean for about five minutes. And you can see how it's cleaning on the panel and you can tell how dirty it was in the video I'll play here. And it does a good job staying on the paint. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, no dirt, no grime. Yeah, good cleaning power, man. Soap has great cleaning power. Look at that. This part was cash. It's like the soap did its job. Yeah, man, good, good soap. It was ridiculous. For a protection type of soap, it cleans like it's a high pH soap. It's wild to me. You saw how dirty that was. It was kicked on dirt, kicked on mud. I didn't touch it with anything. I just let the soap sit for five minutes. I'm in the control room. It's about 75 degrees humidity in here. Bro, that soap cleans it's freaking great. Uh, this is pretty freaking good, dude. Listen, 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 okay? Confused. I'm confused a little bit. How is this soap clean as good or better than Double Tap? Have no freaking idea. I put it on two ounces foam cannon about, I filled the foam cannon up. I should have probably used less. The suds were good enough to clean, like it was clinging on the paint. And then I let it sit for about five minutes before I touched it. And the why behind that was I wanted to get uh, my dirt off. You know, I didn't want to do a pre-foam and blah, 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 blah. And also wanted to see the cleaning power of this soap because the back of it says here that it is a great cleaner. It says right here. It says uh, residue free, free rinsing on unmatched. Right here. Right here, dude. Unmatched cleaning power. I, I co-sign it. Look. I'm gonna put my name, I'm gonna co-sign that. The cleaning power of slick sluds, phenomenal. The way it left beating on the car, no topper, I haven't topped this car. I did one section of it when I was doing the video for ADS, but I only did this side. The rest, didn't touch it. The other side, mud, all kinds of crap. Took it off, all of it, not just a little bit. Took all of it off. I'm gonna drive the car with Ignite. We're just gonna do the back of this and the rest I'm gonna do just to dry. And then I'm gonna put Avalanche on this car to see how slick I can get it. So far, I'm gonna tell you this. So far, here's where Eddie's at. You go buy this, okay? Keep a real 20, it gives you 20% off. You go buy that. I almost used the whole bottle. It's phenomenal, it's wild. I'm gonna be honest, this soap I thought was gonna suck. I thought it wasn't gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be like every other soap that has graphene in it, but this stuff is, uh, Phenomenal. I'm gonna have to put it against cleanse from ethos. This stuff, phenomenal. Chef's kiss, dude. Chef's kiss. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. I'm real. Figaro. You know what I'm talking about? Chef's kiss, bro. This stuff was too, super Italiano. Mira, mira. You know, I have la pañol. You know what I'm talking about? Humberto. What am I saying? You know what I'm saying, Humberto. Put it in chat. Put it. <laughs> I was supposed to drive the car, but I can't stop talking about how impressed I was with that soap. Did you do a contact wash? Yes, I did. 
Only on the lowers because the rest was freaking clean. What? You wash it, bro. It's clean, bro. What do you want me to say? It's clean, dude. It's clean. What I suggest you do at home? No. But I'm telling you right now, bustin'. We're gonna put on ignite. Let's spray it in the air. Coconuts. It smells like coconuts heavy, right? Oh, it smells awesome. All right, we're gonna put it. Here's how I use ignite. This door, I'm gonna leave this door after I dry it with avalanche so I don't top it and try to top it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna demo ignite on the window, this section here, and I wanna show you this. One spray, just so take a night wash, one spray, spray it all over, okay? Spray it all over the car. And then I'm gonna take my ethos towel that finally showed up. <laughs> take, take my ethos towel that finally showed up and it's slick as crap. Now, you're like, was it soap that was slick? Both, bro, both. Look, it doesn't streak, it's super slick. It's up there, in my opinion, like, if Brad and them decided to go away with their company um, because Jamie keeps trolling them, then I would move all my stuff over to Ignite Wash as one of the best up there for drying aid. Super slick, dude. And you want slickness because that helps with the drying process. You know what I'm talking about? Look. And it gives you a phenomenal gloss, okay? When you're doing any type of drying aid, you wanna make sure to put your towels in a bucket of rinseless or something to prevent it from getting clogged. This is how good this ethos towel is, right? Real world. Like Eddie, like it looks like it's the other towel from the company. No, dude, it's their own. See, holds a lot of water. I'm gonna grab this, come down. It deserves a caveat because it is that good of a drying aid. This puppy is that good. All right, so Avalanche, slick as shiz. <laughs> I love their, dude, their sense of humor is wild. Bro. I'm gonna spray two, spray one, two, rub it in. Okay, first impressions, slick as crap. Holy balls, dude, way slick. It's uh, slicker than Ignite, actually. Way slick. Um, when you rub it off, you get the, it's, it's slick, super slick. So it does live up to the hype. I don't know if it's gonna last 12 months. We'll check it out. We'll test it, test in the beating, you know, see if it has less dirt than the other panels. Let's finish this other door, and then we'll do the front bumper with the ceramic one. Let's roll. We're gonna take this ceramic shield mudslide, and we're gonna apply it to the back of the Toyota, here's the why. This takes the biggest hit out of the whole car. It's always dirty, always get the sling back from the car in front of your car and back. This gets hit, so I'm gonna shake it up. Always shake up your products. I did the other one too, okay? Um, I have it on spray, I believe. Okay, same ordeal applies. I turn my towel over, because I don't like wasting towels and doing laundry. Clean side. Sprayer suck, you put two in here. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do what I do for ceramic coating. It can be applied on all the plastics, okay? And then come down, I don't, I'm not gonna cross that, I'm gonna wipe it on and hit it with two more and do half of this. And I wanna give you my experience on how slick it is. I'm gonna take my other towel and I'm gonna buff. So what I'm noticing on this one is it's not it's slick but it's not as slick as avalanche um it reminds me now this one reminds me of the jimbo sauce reminds me of ceramic sealant um and it gives it a nice dark richening look and a soft to the touch which is crazy so i'm gonna finish this side and just to show you it can go on plastic let's go down here let's go right here so you see this part right here um it says plastic metals things of that nature so we're gonna take the same rag, flip it over. I'm gonna do two sprays. I'm gonna put it on plastic all over here and just take my time with it. Kind of like if you would a ceramic coating, you want it to do its job. You want to do its job fully. Okay. And then I'm gonna wipe that up. Just grab the excess of it. It does give it a nice darkening look. Um, it looks real nice and rich. Soft to the touch too, so far. Avalanche is way slicker than this. This is, I feel like this is gonna be more of a chemical resistance type of ordeal. 
Um, this one is slick, but Avalanche is way slicker, way, like not like margin slicker. Um, this does work on everything, just like Avalanche. It does give it a nice shine. It's easy to work with. The humidity here is 90 um, because I sprayed a lot of water and it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm not getting streaking. I am going to try it to see if it could go on glass here. Pure water, dirt rub pussy, uh, versatile surface I do for plastic painted metals and other non-porous. So I'm not going to put it on glass, but everything else so, so far so good. First with this. Okay, the, this soap is very impressive. I can't get enough of how impressive it was. How it cleaned, how I took the dirt, how I sprayed off the dirt. You're like, Eddie, all soaps do that. I'm being serious. I've done Chemical Guys review with Honey Snow Foam and I've done other soaps. Dude, I've been doing so much soap in the last two, three months. I think I've I tested like 25 soaps that I could tell you with all confidence, being the rinseless guy, that that soap is probably one of the best pH. I don't know if it's pH neutral. <laughs> Is it Pete? One of the best soaps I've, I've used. I do got to put it against Ethos Cleanse, Graphene Cleanse, because that soap is amazing as well. But just the cleaning power for something. When I first started this video, I was like, oh man, they're going to be just like, you know, somebody's releasing a product every week, you know, but dang, bro, Bill, you did your, you did your due diligence with that soap, dude. That and Grind Wave. Grind Wave hits different. It just hits hard. It ha does a good job cleaning. Um, 10 out of 10. The soap is 10 out of 10. This spray is probably the slick, I can't say that was slick. It's super slick spray. It's slicker than most of the things I've used uh, for a long-term sealing. Um, I'll need to test it against Resist, against CSS, against Jimbo spray. I'm gonna have to test it against some of the bangers that I have in my shelf, but so far, easy to use. Paint is super glossy and it just gets, the more it dries, the slicker it gets, no, no cap. This. Chef's kiss, bro. You already know. I'm not, it's like, you know what it is? It's like having a hot wife and telling your friends, I'm sorry, your wife is ugly. We know this is good, all right? I'm not gonna keep talking. I'm not gonna keep harping on this. We know it's busting, all right? I'm excited to see the durability. It's not as slick as Avalanche, but it doesn't claim, it doesn't claim to be slick. This was formerly to make any surface it is sprayed on extremely hydrophobic, creates an amazing shield against climates. This one says, was formulated on every surface, extremely slick. Two different types of products. If you're the guy that wants hydrophobic and slick, you like to feel your stuff. If you like ones that you're like, look, I just want it to last. Dude, he gave us both, he gave us two, two worlds here, okay? In the world, one man, slick. This is what I grab it. <laughs> Wild. This, I'm gonna test it on the back bumper. I have it on the front bumper. Um, this one was easy to apply. Journey um, is, the wheels. We're gonna have to break this video up into two. I did the external wash with the new products. We're gonna talk about the wheel uh, here. Um, we all know Double Tap is, is awesome. Let's talk about Wheelie Great. Well, I like about Wheelie Great, it conditions and protects the rubber. It also darkens the rubber and it gives it a nice sheen. It's not super glossy because I don't like that donut look, but when it dries, nice sheen, okay? And I'm gonna take my sprayer. I sprayed three or four. I go to the tire and I start from the middle you wanna make sure your tire is super clean, right? You start from the tip and you curve your brush in and that's enough to do almost the whole outside wheel before you come in and you do it. You want to have nice, even coverage, okay? Nice, even coverage like that. Then what I'll do is I'll take another spray and I'll come outside and I'll start to brush it in. It does smell good. And then you get the outside of your tires. And yeah, you're like, Eddie, that looks real weird. Um, nah, that looks, that is gonna knock down to a sheen, actually a light, light sheen. Let it dry. You don't wanna dry this for the first hour or so. Uh, if you want a tire dressing that you could just put on and go, Tire Plus, Onyx, tire lotion from DIY. All those would be do it. This is one of those long-term, probably four or five washes, still have to test it. But that's how I would put this on. And it gives it a nice look. And my wife loves this look on her truck. And it's easy to apply with just a brush and the product. We're done. I did the wheels, I did the body, I did the drying aid, I did the wash, I did the, the sealants. And I'm gonna scale these real quick and we're done. Go by.
you know, ground wave. Um, yeah, go by, you know, the mud slide. I mean, no, slick, s s sick, slick suds. You go by, these stack, by the way, they stack real well. You get a ceramic coating, you maintenance wash it with this, right? You grab your drying aid of, of, of your choice, right? Mine would be uh, this ADS, right? You dry the car, or if you're gonna do your six month sealant update, or you wanna you know, make sure your coating's good for the winter, you bust out avalanche, or you bust out mudslide, because I think that's gonna be more chemical resistant, and you put that on, and it's easy to put on, and it should last good. So far, I let the car, car dry for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna show you the gloss, but I'm telling you right now, freaking wild. I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the community. Road to 5,000. Uh, if you haven't yet, two videos back, you wanna hit, uh, hat, you wanna watch the video and find out how to enter for the Rupes that we're giving away Thursday. If this drops on Thursday, congrats to the winner. <laughs> With that said, shout out to Bill from Lithium for making busting products. I honestly thought that it was going to be the same ordeal, just another soap. He impressed me. Freaking impressive. Coming in strong, Bill. With that, Eddie Cologne, I'm out. Peace.